subscribe to Simply Bitcoin. Primal.net slash Greg. I'm very happy about that. Nice. I uh I changed from Amethyst and it's mm -hmm. like way better. Night and day, dude. Subscribe. Yeah. Nothing like. All right. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Who is talking? I'm talking. I'm all about oh, sorry. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> I uh I changed from Amethyst and it's mm -hmm. like way better. Night and day. Subscribe. I'm hearing yeah. myself, man. Like. All right. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Who is talking? What? What? All right. So welcome everybody. Welcome. Someone, in. Someone mute wrote. wrote. Meme Factory stream test. Hang on, I'll get him. This is episode 122. And this evening we're joined by none other than uh one of our own. Big Sean Harris. Say hi, bud. What's up, guys? What wow. Is, hi, what Sean. Hey Becca, uh, just haven't seen you guys forever. Where have you guys been at? Why? Well, so know. amazing to have you here, man. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yellow, yellow, I haven't seen you since this morning. Where have you been? Uh, doing stuff and things and uh, people and street lights. You've been doing people for reasons? And yeah, and sometimes. Street and, and street lights. lights. You've been street lights. I don't know how puppets do street lights, but. Uh... Well, he said things and stuff too. It makes me think he's over yeah. at the fourth offices. Is he Suscorp? Is Yellow Suscorp Suscorp? I don't know who runs that account, honestly. I thought Sully did. Everybody's <laughs> Sully. Yep. So, Sean, for uh, anybody watching this who may actually not know who you are, tell us. <laughs> uh, my name is Sean Harris. I am the pencil from the Meme Factory. Uh <laughs> Yes, yes, I guess that's funny. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's who I am. I don't make as many memes as, as what I used to. I wish I did. I wish I had more time. One day I will be back to living the dream, which is... MD. What is that, yellow? Are you already recording me? No. Nope. I think somebody's watching a YouTube video and I just fed to nope. my... That was yellow. No, it wasn't me. Yes, it was you. It was Rob. And you just pressed mute. No. And you got scared. You got scared. And you pressed it was Rob. Because I've done it before, too. He did. He got scared and pressed <laughs> mute. I, I saw it. He it was, was like, Rob. Oh. And he was like, no. No, Rob's been muted this whole time. Oh. Yeah. It was Wait, I have? <laughs> you were muted earlier, but it looks like you're yeah. yourself. Yes. <sighs> All right, Sean. So uh, I don't know if you've watched this show before, but one of the idiosyncrasies here is that uh, our ad sponsor, our sponsors for the show, have the uh, the guests read their ad copy. Uh, so in order for us to I get paid for this, you don't get paid. No, no, no. no. You get paid. I mean, in test net sats is, is <laughs> contract, <laughs> but uh, you mean payments Craig, are right? transaction is made. In Craig right uh, sats. In Craig right. <laughs> <laughs> There's more than test net, but. Uh, as we uh, as we move forward here, if you could check your signal, I sent over the ad copy. Uh, if you could rip through it and get those sets. Okay, are you ready? I'm so ready. Hey, Big Sean Harris here, and this episode of the Meme Factory Stream Test is brought to you by. No, it, uh, hold on, one more time. Hey, Big Sean Harris here, and this episode of the Meme Factory Stream Test is brought to you, along with some peace of mind, by Siesta Secure the insurance solution for your Bitcoin holdings. We're living in uncertain times. And the last thing you want is to lose sleep over your digital assets. Here's why Siesta Secure is your go-to safety net. Do, do you hold your Bitcoin on platforms that are guaranteed to not be insolvent inside this fiscal year? At Siesta Secure, we pride ourselves on being a fortress of integrity and morality. With our moral compasses pointed as straight as not just one, but three arrows. Triply secure. So while you're earning 5% at BlockFi on those 10 million sats, losers, you can ensure that earning potential for the low, low fee of $1,000 a month. Because at Siesta Secure, we believe in securing your Bitcoin one-to-one with what's in our company, multi-sig. 
Your trust in us is backed by our integrity and the solid foundation of our assurance and hand-waving. Your prime trust in Siesta Secure will ensure you're never left in the dark. Our commitment to you is as steadfast as a magical mountain, and you can rest easily at night knowing your coin bits will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Siesta Secure is the blanket of security that lets you dream big without fear. Choose Siesta Secure because your peace of mind is priceless and your Bitcoin deserves to be earning interest freed from the bank men. Ooh, that was tough. Oh. Sleep tight knowing we've got you covered, probably. Hey! Yay! Fantastic. Fantastic. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Right. That was awesome. <laughs> it's like you yeah. know the premise. Yeah, that's what happens when you lose Bitcoin at CoinBits and BlockFi. <laughs> right. We tried to get uh, all of the uh, all of the major failures in that one ad copy. I think we nailed most of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing is now that the CIA can never come after me for my Bitcoin because I lost it already. What are you going to do? They have it. Yeah. You're ahead of the curve. They already have my Bitcoin. They have yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow, how long does it take to get Bitcoin back? <laughs> uh, 10 years. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> and you get only 10 to 10, 20%. <laughs> okay. 11 years, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, Sean, I know you've been working a long, hard day. I hope you came hungry because what comes next is the sandwich menu. We need to make, we need to take an order. Yeah. Sean, I prepared a special um, sandwich for you today. There's no options. There's only one. And it's called the Victory Sammy. It is a extra tall, extra large sandwich we have here. Whoa. It's a celebratory sandwich for all of the votes for me. <laughs> Thank you, everyone <laughs> and Sailor <laughs> for beating Magoo. And so we have no fake meat or no fake votes in this sandwich. Wow. Salty ham with some aged cheese and shredded CIA files in here. And it's <laughs> served with a shot of Magoo's tears. So it's extra large, extra tall, a plud Sammy for everyone. Hey. Like Sean's old haircut, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's no, it. Can you see the gingerness? I can see it. It's nice. Beautiful. I can see it. <laughs> so I like I like how when it's my turn on the meme factory, Becca just makes a sandwich for herself and not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I roll right now. <laughs> so you can order that or are you ordering off menu? That's no. all I got today. No, I'm not ordering off menu. We don't go see yeah. the I, I was hoping to get offered at least uh yellows don't stop believing marinated in red bull no nope, not today for 600 sorry, okay no, it's 870 sorry. days at this point yeah I, I packed uh i'm packing the red bulls for a salvador so yeah yeah yellow will have it to you in hand next week so becca how does it feel to beat magoo one-on-one on, one on one in march madness that you beat magoo how does it, it feel? feels let's back fantastic. Up. Back up so everybody understands the context here. So the Bitcoin Bugle has made a March Madness style bracket. Bugle. It's Bugle. Bugle. No. All right, Malaka. Now, <laughs> the Bitcoin Bugle <laughs> has a March Madness style bracket for prominent Bitcoiners on Twitter. It's been a lot of fun to see who's uh, who's winning these popularity contests. Uh, so far today, I'm getting trounced by Peter Rochard. But Becca pulled out the upset of the year this morning uh, against Magoo. Can yes. We, can we break down how that happened? Because you were trailing by a significant margin, margin with an hour to go. Yeah, I was behind by about 5%. I worked tirelessly yesterday um, campaigning alongside my plebs, uh, getting votes because, you know, a vote for me was a vote for sandwiches and babies. And we need more of that in Bitcoin. <laughs> we don't need any more macro. We don't need any more space spaces, people, big personalities. Like we don't need big little personalities. Uh, we don't need that. 
So okay. says, I says the girl who gets the who gets the win from Sailor. <laughs> I'm getting to that. And um, I woke up this morning, <clears throat> still behind 5%, you know, reaching out, reaching out. And the lovely folks at the meme factory that doesn't exist, yellow, rusty, and all <sighs> worth some magic. And we got Sailor to endorse me and vote for me. And that's, that just went rocket ship. <laughs> And I pulled it out. We pulled it out and we beat Magoo by, I think the end was 54 to 46%. So the most votes in the bracket, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, plebs you strong and, together. You and Biden, most votes ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely not rigged. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the CIA had no involvement, okay? <laughs> not not, not at, all. at all. No, no. <laughs> it was fabulous. I was actually very upset with this result. Yeah, well. <laughs> all right, so Sean, let's uh let's hop into time machine, man. Uh let's go back 4 years. Oh. Let's uh let's go to inception. 4 years ago, we were uh we were either just starting lockdowns or about to get into them. Bitcoin had a uh what a dip down to about $6,000. It was less than that. I forget what the minimum was there. $4,000. $4,000. And then uh Anthony Pompliano himself was celebrating the having party by cracking a beer by himself and chilling block five. Let's be, yeah, yeah. How did that affect you? It it uh, it it made me sad, and um, <laughs> I was looking forward to. So let me paint that picture even more for you. Um, the year is twenty seventeen, and I'm going. I'm like learning about this thing called Bitcoin and all these ICOs, and I don't buy any because I don't know what's going on. And then the year twenty nineteen rolls around, and one day. I see a tweet that says um, the federal, you know, the Federal Reserve just printed billions of dollars. It didn't, I can't remember how many, but billions of dollars today. And no one even knows about it. And so then I did more research on it. And that was like when the repo market was like broke. And that was the day that I realized that Bit that Bitcoin was better money than the dollar because I knew that the dollar would print forever. And so um so I started buying Bitcoin. And then as I started to buy Bitcoin, because I've been studying it, I was really excited for the halving. And I've been watching the price of Bitcoin since 2017. And that was 2019. And I've been watching the price just go down and down and down and down and down from 20K. And I thought, oh, it's going to go back up. I didn't know much about the halving. I started studying more. And then I was like, oh, the halving is what causes this supply shortage. And then the price is going to pump again. So that just made me really easy about the having because I was like, okay, the volatility doesn't matter. And then I was getting excited for this once in a four year time event. And it came and it left and no one even noticed. And all that Pomp did was crack open a beer on YouTube. So I was like, you okay. know what? That was terrible. Like this is the having and this is all we're doing for it. Like we should do more. But what happens? Normally, when you say we should do more, you just like hope someone will do more and then no one does more. So then on one day we did the laser eyes and I was like, oh, we could do the more. We could be the ones that do the having party. So then we did the having party. And now that's what we got coming up in 2024. And we're going to do this every four years, every not every four years, every 210,000 blocks. So I can't wait for the first one. So, if I understood that correctly, uh, we as Bitcoiners did a shitty job celebrating all of the previous happenings, and we're trying to create a platform for a much better, better, more, more enjoyment or liking and having funner part of the having. Is that right? Does that sound what good? You, what are you saying now, right now? I had a, stro I had a stroke. It was oh, okay. All right. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. It's, it's more, my brain's more better now. More, better, funner, strategy -er. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about um, location. Why 
are you making me go to El Salvador? First of all, because yeah, Sean, because Greg didn't even have a passport yet, guys. Like, how did he not have a passport? First of all, because he lives in the best country in the earth. Exactly. Yeah. Americans don't My passport, passport expired in 2017. I just had didn't have a reason to get another one. I had little kids, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. You didn't have a buddy playing basketball in Spain. I didn't have a reason to get another one. Oh, yeah. You could have visited me. You, you and, and, it really you and the wife right and the kids could have visited me. And now I'm living in America again. And now you can't are visit you, Are you really wondering, son, why a Florida man doesn't have a passport? Really? <laughs> yeah. Where is he going to go? He's already seen alligators everywhere. They're in my neighborhood. I have alligators in my neighborhood. It's great. Okay, would you rather have alligators in your neighborhood or those huge Australian spiders on your walls? Alligators. 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 Huntsman spiders. Is that what they're called? Alligators, yeah. Yeah. Hunt Huntsman spiders. Yeah. I think they're both kind of nicer than they are portrayed as. No, there's no alligators, way. swamp puppies. How could you sleep with them? Like imagine if there was like a spider on this wall. There's no way. Yeah, they don't do anything to humans. They go after birds and stuff. Becca would love them for that pigeon problem. Uh, my pigeon problem is solved now. Yeah, but like you can't be sleeping and the spider cl crawls in your mouth, man. Like alligators don't do that. It's too big, <laughs> it's too big to crawl in your mouth. Yeah, oh, they kill you. It'll crawl in your face and then I'll take it. Alligator. They'll it'll eat your like face. You. Yeah. You'll wake oh. up with no nose. It'll just bite your nose off. <laughs> <laughs> like Michael Jackson. And take it <laughs> at his house. It'll Michael Jackson you. The spider will yeah. Michael Jackson you. You want that, Greg? I don't think you want that. I've I've lost track of what we're talking about here with the spider. Is this why Rusty spiders? Not, okay. Is spiders. Rusty not to the having party because he got Michael Jackson by a huntsman spider? Okay. Oh, uh, yes. A quick question for everyone. If a spider was at the size of an alligator, who would win? A spider would win. Exactly. Exactly. But couldn't the alligator just bite the spider's legs off? Exactly. Yeah, but the the, the, alli the spider will go like above the alligator with the long legs. So and just faster. like start it. Yeah. Use the venom. Mm. How's it going to get through the alligator's exterior shell? You know, you have yeah. to use, like slug shotgun shells at like a very specific point on its head to actually kill an alligator during hunting oh, season. Really? They yeah. got that time. They got armor. You yeah, they you, got armor. Like, you can't kill them with a nine millimeter pistol. Like won't penetrate. Yeah, that you was in the nineties. Now with COVID fight. and all that, they're very weak. Yellow doesn't <laughs> understand the difference between a shotgun and a nine millimeter. He's he's it's pretty. From, so we yeah, have like Europeans. A, we have <laughs> like a, a, a an alligator obesity pandemic actually going on. They're pretty healthy. I can die very easily now. Yellow, are you allowed to have guns in Greece? Uh, <laughs> if you live in Crete only. So no. and if you're Russian in Crete, so if you, right? If you're no, Crete, no, no. Crete. <laughs> have a yeah. Gun. yeah. If you're, if you're a Cretan, are people who live in Crete called Cretans? Well, yeah, it's like the name of the island. So yeah. That's a shame. Like, uh, do people in Florida call Floridians, Greg? How do you call uh, people in Florida? Gotcha. So, uh, do you know what Cretan means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With an, Floridians, then. With an A. With an A. Yellow does not know what Cretan means. No. Yeah. No, like, uh, no, no. He, like he, the, he told me he understood what it means. When the he said. barbarian. No, he does not. Type. The barbarian type. No, Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. definitely does not know. Cretan, yes, I know you. Cretan, don't touch me. Exactly. Can you take me okay. All right, so let's let's circle back around. Why are you making me go to El Salvador, Sean? Yeah. Um. Other other than and and this is a good point, Greg, that you brought up because I was like, you're not you're not very sovereign if you don't have a passport. And then you're like, well, Ooh. I'm on I'm on the level above passports. I don't even need to have a passport. That's how sovereign well, I am. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sovereign. I all I need is my Bitcoin and my balls. I can still go to 50 different countries inside my own country. Those aren't countries, those are called estados. Those are called states. And uh and what is the United States? It's a it's a what? United Estados hey, of hey, Americanos. Hey, hey. The more perfect union. 
All right, come on. Why El Salvador? Why am I going there? Why are you making me go there? Why are you making because... me drag this out, too? You're going to have to answer that, too. Yeah, be serious for a second, son. Yeah, Sean. Okay. I got to be serious with yeah. you, fool. Um, the reason why is because, as anyone who's watching this probably knows, Bitcoin is legal tender in El Salvador. It's the first country. What? Really? Bitcoin, no. Legal tender. It's funny. I actually did tell someone at work this today. I was like, I'm going to be gone next week. They're like, why? I'm like, I'm going to El Salvador. Oh, why? Like, because Bitcoin is the first country, or El Salvador is the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. And they're like, oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, yes, really. Don't they have huge spiders there the size of alligators? <laughs> Don't they have volcanoes just filled with spiders there? Imagine if it's like shot spiders <laughs> out, like ash. There's like <laughs> spiders just falling from the sky. Sounds like my worst nightmare. Very and because, yeah. and, and, and here's another reason. I lived in Central America for two years. I love it there. Uh, I've been back. I've been back twice now to El Salvador uh, over the last couple of years. And I love it down there. I really do. Uh, I'm going to, like, I'm going to be back again, probably later on this year to El Salvador. So I really like it. And I wanted to do a having party that I know that I would have fun at. So screw whatever else anyone else will have fun at. Um, I'm just going to make it something I'm going to have fun at. And then I was like, well, I'm sure other people have fun there too, because I'm going to have fun. So, Dude, I cannot wait to go and spend a month in El Salvador uh, closed up in my Airbnb. Really, it's going to be <laughs> fucking yeah. awesome. Like, I haven't booked an Airbnb in uh, El Salvador before, and I can't wait. Um, I hope they have a delivery that they uh, deliver papusas. That's all I need. And I'm good. Like, people will be calling me, uh, you want to go see that volcano? I can see it from my balcony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's talk a little bit of nuts and bolts of the folks that are going to come down. How they're going to uh, how they're going to achieve getting to the resort and getting in, right? So I've flown down there. I fly into San Salvador, and I find myself two hours from the Royal de Cameron, where uh, where this is being held. How the hell am I going to get there? Um, you could like call a taxi or something, or just book the shuttle from the airport. You know, from the hotel. Uh, actually, this is, this is done a little bit on purpose because I want people to see a lot of El Salvador and it's not done on purpose because, um, uh, I just wanted to pick the best resort for us to go to in El Salvador. And I went up and down the coast of El Salvador back in 2022, and this was the best one. So, um, don't be coming and judging everything. You know, Americans we always judge stuff. Oh, this ain't. This isn't, yeah, well, this is the best that El Salvador has, and it's great, you know, so come happy. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. And I would say um, the way to do it is go to our fact page. If you're looking up the shuttle, um, just go to our fact page, BitcoinHavingParty.com, hit the fact button, and uh, 10th point down. I even got that memorized. The 10th point down will tell you how to get from the airport to the hotel, take the Decameron Explorer, and uh, if that doesn't work, then hit up our, our buddy, the bit driver, Napoleon. Napoleon, he's getting a lot of people ready and he's got some taxis ready. Whatever time you arrive, he'll get a taxi for you. So come on down. Can we just pause for a second? I just, you know, Sean, but you, you, I like how you singled out Americans right, the, right there, how Americans are always judgy. I, you yeah. know, I just, I, I don't think that's quite fair. I mean, okay, okay. European, English. Yeah, I mean, I only know like one European and he, he's like, he's not even European for really. He's like, I don't know, Balkan or something, but he's really judgy. So. Hey! <laughs> What's the Turkish? <laughs> I'm not judgy, man. I'm demanding. Demanding. But, yeah, he's, diva. he's so judgmental that he's going to go to El Salvador. He's going to stay in his room the whole time because he thinks he's better than the Salvadorans. Ooh. All right. No, no, I don't think that. Yeah. Uh, it's just like I think I'm better than everyone. <laughs> uh, did Sailor vote for you? Oh, uh, goddamn! 
Right. Sailor! All right. So I get to El Salvador. I either get myself a taxi or I've called a shuttle or I'm using the Decameron Explorer. And we recommend the Decameron Explorer because not only does it get you to the hotel, it does your check-in for you. Um, well, it gets you. It doesn't do your check-in for you. But it, if you arrive before 3 p.m., which is check-in time, then uh, you you can get into the hotel. You have access to all the food, all the amenities, the pools. And then at 3 o'clock, you can get your room. So, um, And if you don't want take the Decameron Explorer, you can – and you take a taxi and you get there before. There's also like a $34 fee you can pay, and you can, you can get in early too. So – it's just the entry. You get it. You get the entry in. You don't want to be stuck in the line outside. That is the worst place to be stuck in the line outside. Yeah, you know, Greg lost his notes right now. Oh, I have no. some notes. I was trying to uh, share my screen. I want to make sure everybody can see this because I want to pull up the schedule uh, and talk about what we've got going on. So on this first day here, it looks like we're starting strong with uh with a toxic happy hour how did uh how did that come about how did we get these guys so these guys you know they're they're tough they're the toughest to get but it is no it's no no puppy just anders puppy's working okay so, but it will be anders we got the toxic happy hour starting off strong and uh you know you know anders he's he's always willing to party and have a good time he, he throws his own pleb party so it'll be great to to start us out as we got a flat top being drawn. No, we have an uh, F. I, I think I know the next letters. G, G, G. G. Yeah, G. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, it's a six. He wrote a six. F U six, whatever that means. Now, uh, after we go top to happy hour, looks like we've got uh, Max Kaiser and Stacy Herbert coming on. How did uh, do we have any idea what they're going to talk about other than being the richest country on earth? Mm hmm. No, I mean they might talk about like uh the Thucydides trap, you know. They might talk about the what? The Thucydides trap. You should know that one. You're with Greek your, with your Ottoman history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with your Ottoman history. They might talk about um well, okay. We have an arrowhead that ropes strong now. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an anchor. It's an anchor. No, I think it's the pool at the Decameron is what I'm seeing here. It's a, it's like a, it's a water slide. It's yeah. a water slide. Um, but yeah, Max and Stacy, uh, actually, they honestly, this is an interesting story. When, when, when I first was planning the having party, and I didn't really tell you guys much, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I kind of, if anyone doesn't know, I kind of roped the whole ha meme factory into doing the having party. By the way, um, strong armed, strong yeah. armed. <laughs> But it, but it's worked out, I think. Absolutely, and we're all happy uh, about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, happy. super happy. I can be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just kidding. You could have. It's my own fault. I don't. It's not a fault. It's not. It's not a fault. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I hit up. I was trying to get a hold of Max. <laughs> you said bad. Barry, but I didn't know them very well, so I actually got a hold of Greg Foss. And Greg Foss uh, hooked me up with Max and Stacy, and then um, I met up with them when I got down to El Salvador back in the summer of twenty two. Awesome. And I was like, "Guys, we're throwing a having party down here. I want you guys to be here. And you guys got to be here." And so they're like, "Yeah, we'll be there." And so I went out to lunch with them. And it was fun, and um, and so we're, I'm really excited. I mean, they always bring some good some good energy. I remember the days I used to watch RT. This it makes me think of Becca's. I watched uh, Becca's discovering, or I listened to Becca's discovering Bitcoin. Uh, that was really good. And she was talking. You were talking about how you listen to Max and Stacy on on the RT and, all the uh, time. Yeah, all the. I did the same thing. Yeah, there was like, there was like a year when I was like going down the Bitcoin rabbit hole, and I couldn't wait to like watch their videos. They released like three a, three a week. Yes, and they were just like a half an hour long. Like the first 15 minutes would be just them two, and then they bring on a guest, maybe like Larry the Part or someone, some gold bug. And then, um, and Larry the Part eventually got convinced, not everyone did, but, um, but so 
Max and Stacy have done a lot for me. It's just like explaining a lot of the little things in Bitcoin along the way. So I was really happy that I could meet them and then um, that they're going to come to the having party. So it'll be fun. All right. So one of the things I didn't realize about the Cameron is that it's uh, it's pretty damn big. Um, so you'll notice like on here, we've got Pergola Bar, Pergola Bar, Pergola Bar, Balam Restaurant, Amphitheater, Discotheque, like, how many different restaurants are at this place? What is it, like six? Four. four. As I'm eating, there's four restaurants. Four, 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 four. More better. No, Sean, very professional. <laughs> there's four restaurants, and there's two buffet cafeterias. And so. Can I have a golf cart? A golf cart? You can. You just have to buy it while you're down there. And yes, then yeah. you know, let the camera and let you bring it in. Well, you can have anything you want. You can have anything you want. You can, uh, and one of the, one of the cafeterias is a two level cafeteria buffet. So that's pretty cool. And, um, and one isn't, but, um, but then there's four, there's four different restaurants. They're all a cart. Those are where the dinners are served. And like one is like a Mediterranean fusion. One is like a seafood. There's a steakhouse. And, um, I can't remember what the fourth one was, but they're really good. A pizzeria. No, I mean, I mean, a pizzeria. I think, how many? We've got like one, two, three. We got three DJ sets. Who do we have uh, DJing for us? We have Yellow. Yellow. DJ Caleb. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's just going to be one song, three different yes. versions. Yeah, Yellow is going to be DJing. Don't stop believing three days in a row. Um, unless, unless we hit 100,000, right? And marketing. marketing. And um we just we have local Salvadoran DJs that will be DJing for us. So um each night. So we can't wait. That's gonna be good. Nice. And then I see on the uh the next day we're doing a nod to Barry here with proof of workout, beach run, walk, hundred push-ups. Uh probably not gonna see me at this one. But yeah, me neither. Uh, yeah, what about yeah. you, Sean? You coming to this one? Dude, no, probably not. I'm the fattest I've been in maybe ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Hashtag Whatever. me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real. You got an excuse. Hashtag me three. I need to be there. I'll be there. I'll be huffing and puffing, but I'll be there at the workouts because well, you're do. gonna be at I, every single one of these events. Like, don't, don't try, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the rug pull with with rope because. I'm gonna be wearing yeah. I'm gonna be wearing a referee jersey. I'm gonna have my whistle that I'm gonna be blowing. I can't wait for that one. We know you love blowing whistles. Is that what, it's not just whistles? <laughs> oh, so, so I like blowing like those party. Burp. What are those party things? <laughs> you Greg, do you have the thir- Greg, do you have the thirsty bit planned yet, or what? Uh I have some ideas. Because Dragon was talking about that today. Yeah, and, um, he was like, "Does Greg know he's doing that?" And I'm like, "Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows." I'm I'm ideating. So I mean, yeah. I, I told you, and you didn't believe me. I, I don't know any drinking games. So yeah, well, I didn't know. I believed you. I, just didn't, <laughs> I didn't think that. I didn't originally think that. But then when you said it, I believed you. Yeah. Um, you know, he, well, drinking games, and I'm sure there's a whole list of them. Yeah, I mean well, it's a it's a Google book thing. Well, well, I'll make something fun for everybody. I'm not worried about that. Greg, you and me also have to speak about the having, by the way. Yeah, oh, I know. I've got uh, three panels that I have to do some uh, some chatting on, and I'm prepping for, as well as two the awards, games, two games, yeah. and and a uh, and a game show. <laughs> oh, we're putting you to work. Yeah, you guys are really uh, making me work here on this vacation. It's kind of a uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> all right so talk to me are you talking you cannot you, talk like, pedro a ref shirt <laughs> and a whistle is that the chad olympics the basketball shootout yeah well yeah the basketball shootout we're gonna play we're gonna play knockout we're gonna see who can beat me we're gonna have some prizes there we got uh um we have uh what are they called open dimes for prizes for the basketball shootout, as well as the rug pull, as well as the thirsty bit. So we're going to have some prizes and some fun things. 
And not only that, we have, we have people bringing surprises as well. Doesn't uh, isn't BTC Sessions Ben Perrin? Isn't he bringing a few uh, scavenger hunt sets? Yeah, that's uh, that's what I've that's what I've been seeing. He loves bringing the scavenger hunt ones. Uh, I can't wait for that. <clears throat> we got some some of those glasses from Clip Crypto Cloaks that'll be that'll be coming. Those will be that'll be fun. I actually need to we need those delivered. Those haven't been delivered yet. Right, right. They've, been, they've been shipped. I gotta check the delivery date. I think we're using just in time shipping, so it should be just in time. Just in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. JIT, Greg, you're, I didn't know you were a continuous improvement type of guy. Uh, not so much a CIT guy, more of a CRT guy. But uh, let's talk about uh, this film screening. What's uh, what the heck is stranded? What's a dirty coin short here? Um, this is something that you will, you're gonna have to just wait and see, because I've never seen it before. <laughs> Fair enough. But it's. Uh, at least from what I understand, it's a documentary on, um, you know, coins that are dirty, right? Things that are just mind incorrect. No, I don't know what it's about. Honestly, I don't know, but uh, it's going to be a good documentary. That's what I hear. So I'm I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, it should be. If it's Bitcoin oriented, it should be great. Not necessarily. Not, I mean, have you ever seen an episode of The Meme Factory? Uh, is that a uh, is that a movie? Yeah, uh, maybe. When I Google it, it doesn't. Nothing comes up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> we got to work on that search. Whatever SEO search engine optimization. Right, so we've got <laughs> simply Bitcoin Live. That should be fun. So we've got uh, Nico and Optimus setting up at a desk doing their thing. Are any of us going to be joining them for that or no? We can. Um, I told them to just. I told them to just go at it and have fun. Uh, like bring whoever they want to bring up on stage, just to have fun with it. So that's and they're going to have a great time. They will have some fun with it. Nico and Opti go hard. By the way, don't think I didn't notice that. This night, you've got me at 6 to 6.30 doing the Thirsty Biff drinking competition, then going right into the newly game show, probably hammered at that point, uh, <laughs> with my wife, which should be interesting. And then 20 <laughs> minutes later, I've got the uh, getting Sha Two-Faced bar crawl. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what you're trying to do to me that night, but I'm definitely... <laughs> Any anything that is on that schedule, right. you're, gonna have, you're gonna have to take that complaint up with Dragon, because we know it's Dragon that put that together. Dragon, who couldn't make it tonight for convenient reasons. For convenient reasons, <laughs> but honestly, shout out to Dragon. He made my life a million times easier. He made all of our lives a million times easier. So yeah, yeah. Anybody who is watching, who might be doing any type of event planning, Dragon BTC G at at. No, a G O N B T C on Twitter. Dragon Bitcoin. I think it's just Dragon Bitcoin. It's just Dragon Bitcoin. All right. Yeah. Uh, excellent professional uh, event planner. Uh, Great shout out. Great shout out. Endorse. Definitely endorse. Yeah. All right. So it looks like uh, on Friday, last day of the event here, we're starting off with another piece of the event that I am definitely going to be skipping out on. I got a proof of workout right here. <laughs> um, and then. Uh, me me primer bitcoin <laughs> am i saying that right like a wee me or is it the me, me primer a bitcoin like what me are we prime in a bitcoin. Uh, except we're in a spanish-speaking country so it's me primer bitcoin my first bitcoin um nice john Dene, he he's the guy he's the guy who runs my first bitcoin uh they're really good they do a graduation uh, they do a Bitcoin class for students in El Salvador, where they get a certificate. They gotta, you know, they gotta be able to do a Bitcoin transaction on chain. They gotta be able to back up their seed, wipe up, wipe their seed, restore the seed phrase, do do those type of things. And um, then they have a graduation day where they go through and they prove to a mentor that they can actually do all those things. And then they graduate, and get the certificate. So that's super cool.
All right. And then uh, Berlin El Salvador showing what's possible with Bitcoin circular economies. That sounds awesome. Uh, are we going to be showcasing any particular economies? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. This is each each person that wants to speak. I kind of let them run it. Uh, and that's what's fun is that they're speaking. They're going to have uh, they're going to be surprising me a little bit, too. So. And then uh, eleven forty-five. You, me, and MTC, I think, are talking about the having. That should be a fun talk. Was it all three of us? Ooh, I didn't know we added MTC to that. Uh, well, he's on the he's on the schedule, so if he doesn't need to be on it. We should probably change it. He is eleven until eleven forty-five. Not the schedule we're looking at. the The private schedule for the meme factory that has all oh. the information. Oh, he might be. He just. Uh, he might just be like placeholder. No, like there'll be one of us that will be saying, now next up is so and so. Oh, the MC. The MC. MTC, the MC. Oh. Oh. Wait, say that again? No. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm going to cut that and make a rap song out of it. <laughs> While you're no. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> this is a film screen I'm very excited for. Maxi's Club is going to be showing their first episode. Yeah, um, yeah, well, at the at the having party. Yeah, I don't know if it's honestly, I don't know if it's their first episode. If it's it is, it is. Yes, it is. For, it's their first, first one. Yeah, first. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's guys going to Max's Club. Great little comic about big corners. And if you are, and yellow, you know, yellow does the voiceover in that. He's not the only one. <clears throat> you too? No, 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 no. My voice is. Yeah. Uh, Wait, Becca, do you I, do it? That's good, apparently. Yeah. I mean, you need to wait and see till next Friday, but yeah, what? there's a possibility. No way. I didn't know that. And maybe there's more. Maybe Rope. there's more. Rope. Maybe if Pedro is not in there, I'm gonna be a little disappointed, honestly. Pedro is playing the dad. All right, so next we got a Chad <laughs> fix rug pull with rope. Why is it the same thing but different? And then why are you not involved? What is right? What, what makes it rug pull here? Rug pull. We're gonna we're gonna do a rug pull competition because this is the Bitcoin having party. It's not just it's not a conference. I didn't. I'm not. I'm not accusing you of being a conference here. I'm just trying to understand what's what? happening at this particular time frame and He's what. Really condescending. This Greg. is this is not the, this is not another Bitcoin conference, Greg. This is the Bitcoin having party. <laughs> I already explained that. I understood that, and I'm still just trying to understand <laughs> what's happening with the rug pull. It's just nobody. Should, are we having an event where nobody, none of us are going to be there, and then people are just going to gather? Is that what we're doing? Rope, would you mind explaining this event, please? Uh, yes, I would mind, actually. Because, I mean, how do you explain a rug pool? You just, I mean, that takes away all the, the fun from a rug pool. If I just tell you exactly how I'm going to rug pool you, I mean, Ooh. Ooh. As, as far as I know, just to, to make Sean happy, I know he's a little tired right now. So there may, so there may or may not be a prize because the winner might just get rugged. Maybe. Exactly. And it's going to, there's going to be some rope involved, Welcome. literally and figuratively. Oh. All right. That sounds fun. All right. Hyperinflation in Venezuela with Crypto Bestardo. That yeah. sounds like an entertaining talk. Yeah. That'd be a good one. All things mining with the Coin Dad, Sapiente77, and Jorkney5. Two of those people I don't even know. What uh, what's going on with all things mining? <laughs> all things mining. It's gonna be uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You no know I man, gonna be uh, talk about uh, the Lightning Network. You know, for mining. <laughs> no, it'll be about mining. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll be liquid, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Pedro's favorite. Yes. <laughs> and then a self custody workshop with BTC sessions and Surfer Jim. Yeah. Those are always fun. Did somebody just cross out the uh, the pool slide? Like that would make it invisible? Is that what I'm saying here on the uh, on the screen? It looks I'm like trying. I'm trying to erase it. I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was an anchor. Is it? Is it an anchor? 
Yeah, that was a hint. Uh, trying to erase it because it's a family show. Sure it is. Thank sure it is. Thank uh, you. Amber App, Hodler's Way, Izzy is going to be giving the keynote speech. Shout Two out. Half an hour. Way to go, Izzy. And then uh, Sunset Cigars and Scotch. Pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into anything on that one. <laughs> uh, Beacons on the Beach. That uh, yeah. looks like it's going to be a surprise. Do I need to? Do we? Are we talking about that at all? Or? Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this it. is actually. I don't even know if MTC remembers this, but this is actually his idea, and this is something I'm pretty excited about. It'll be. This is going to be a tradition that we'll do at every having party. Is write out the. We'll have people stand. In, and they'll spell out the number, if that's how you say it, or they'll write out the number 840,000. And we'll have a drone shot go above us. And we'll all have our, our phones as our lights. And it'll spell out 840,000 for the, for block height 840,000, which is when the having happens. So, and then we'll get a really dope picture and a video of all that. And um, it'll be our little signal to the world of the having so it's going to be really fun all right and then we've got another don't stop believing with yellow yo i'm curious how are you going to do uh how are you going to do this live are you going to do it from your airbnb or are you going to be doing it on a stage what's the deal here i really don't know man there's a discotheque <laughs> yeah what? a couple of sheets and a and a baseball bat right yellow yeah i ordered it from labra some stuff um uh, sheets and uh, white seats. Maybe I use them as a projector. If you've got white seats, uh, you're eating something wrong, I think. Yeah, yeah you should I... probably see a doctor. <laughs> and um, I, I, I will have like a baseball bat too. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm going to smash something, maybe. Nice. I don't know. Are Europeans like allowed to have baseball bats? Uh, they're yeah. probably called something. They're like cricket batons or something. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'm I'm planning some stuff, uh, but um, they are all ideas I'm writing through two weeks now in my phone, so I haven't figured out how to, you know, structure it. So, yeah. Uh, so as you as usual, I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Even though we all know it's pre-recorded. Um, so it's like you're gonna wind everybody up with Don't Stop Believing, then live music, pleb rock, deep meditation fused with electronics and rap with the higher low, Roger 9000, El Capitan Youth, and Tip and Z. That should be a blast. And then uh, we're rolling that right into me and Rope giving some very serious awards. Potatoes, right? Aren't you guys giving out potatoes for the yeah, see, I, I, well? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how how El Salvador works. Do do they have potatoes available? I imagine they do. Oh yeah, they got potatoes. Exactly. Down, right? Buy them locally, right? That's just racist. Yeah, you right. can buy a loaf. You can buy a loaf of potatoes down there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's my a favorite loaf? way to purchase. A loaf of potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Potato bread. Potato? Yeah, potato bread. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. So anybody you missed, who missed, wait, you missed the best part. Uh, did I? The end. <laughs> Everyone going home. <laughs> oh, but all, all times and locations and content are subject to last minute change for no good reason. Any complaints? Tweet, tweet Greg's okay. address. The orange party. Huh? I thought the whole thing was. Okay. It said, uh, "All right." So yeah. after the speech tomorrow, I see DJ set slash orange party. Tell me, what are we doing? Orange party. That is MTC and RD. Our <laughs> Our friends from across the pond are planning the most exquisite party of this epoch called the Orange Party. And Is it going to be I'm, on mute the whole time? I'm not uh, getting dressed in orange. I don't know. Okay, well, I am. So bring something orange or yellow if you're yellow. And uh, there's going to be a lot of fun Are stuff. My hair count? It's going to be, imagine, yeah, your hair does count, but bring something orange too. Because my hair counts probably more some orange. Um, so make sure you, everyone brings some orange shirts or something. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's, it's going to be at the discotheque. The, just 
it'll be like, I don't want to break it. You know, I want people to experience this. So I'm not going to give it away, but this is going to be a party. You're not going to want to miss out on. And um, it, after all, we are the having party. So we want to provide a really fun experience and fun party to cap off that last night. And that's what it'll be. So be a little surprised when you come for that one. Did you say we are the having party? Yeah. Like we're all Satoshi. What is sure. it? Michael, Michael Jackson or something? We're talking about spiders again? <laughs> what? Yeah, the people. I don't know. Yellow's talking about spiders again for some reason. Oh. All right. So <laughs> anything, uh, anything. Planned? Wait, 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 wait. Becca, from what are you drinking water from? Um, There used to be spaghetti sauce in here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, glasses were invaded. Um, so, you know, you don't have to. You drink. It's like you drinking. It is glass. Like, no. It's no. like you're drinking moonshine or something. <laughs> Maybe I am. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Lucas. Oh, the baby's going to come out like Greg. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> Oh, look at who the mother is. <laughs> Greg is like the poster child for fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> Ooh, you said that with my mom in the chat? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> you better watch it, Rope. <laughs> yeah, you don't remember, you forget that Greg's a genius, Rope. Uh, okay, let's not be hyperbolic. Uh, that's, that's... <laughs> hyperbolic. All right, so I want to get to, do we have anything uh, for people who are attending that are, they're going to be able to take home with them? Anything they're going to be happy about? Maybe. Maybe we do. If it makes it to El Salvador, we will have uh, some things. Actually, we do. We're working with some Salvadoran vendors, too, that we've already seen a lot of stuff that they've made. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have some fun gift bags for everyone that's attending. And... Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of the things, I, you know, I want people to just experience it. I want them to have fun. You know, expect to hang out with your fellow Bitcoiners. Um, there's still so many people who don't know about Bitcoin. They have no clue what the having is. They have no clue what the having is. Oh, yeah. That bit boy. Bit boy. That's what you said, right? Not everybody knows about bit boy. Yeah. And Cassie. <laughs> um, but not many people know about they don't really understand Bitcoin and my whole thing is if you don't understand the having then you don't uh, you don't you can't fully comprehend what Bitcoin is yet because you don't know about mining you don't know about the supply shock you don't know about the scarcity and so there's so many things that, that the having points to and so that's why we're going to celebrate it because as we continue to celebrate it it'll bring more and more awareness to what the having is and as people understand the having i truly believe this as people understand the having they will understand bitcoin a lot better it just makes bitcoin understanding bitcoin is so much easier when you understand that the volatility doesn't matter because of the having that there's only one coin out there it's called bitcoin there's no altcoins there's so many things that make it better so uh i hope uh that this continues to grow and i really believe it will because people are going to start celebrating the having, like we celebrate the Olympics, we celebrate the new year. It's going to be huge. And we get to do that because we're the meme factory and we did it first. So I'm happy about that. We did. We did it first, didn't we? Did it first. And we're going to rock it. So uh, Rope's been super helpful tonight. So I figured I'd uh, push the RD question over to him. Hey, Rope, if... Uh, you know what? Not even just the RD. I, don't, I think I think we need scores too, don't we? Mm. Hey, Rose, so, so, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the scores. I don't, no, I don't no, know. I'll do the scores. You do the RD too. So. Oh you wow! You know I was about to play that card. You son of a bitch! I can do the accent, man. Yes, you can. Already, you literally the accent already. It's just yeah. It's, it's like I cannot do a double accent. Yeah. <laughs> Double All right, whatever, yellow, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, uh, this is the scores. Um, uh, yellow gets uh, I said from you, no? Okay, Greg, <laughs> you skip you. okay, 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 Greg gets 
some some uh, a gallon of uh, hydro hydro carbons. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, a gallon of it. A gallon. Nice. Uh, uh, Becca gets uh a, a Uno reverse card for sailor. <laughs> Yep, for the sipping. Yep. Nice. Um uh Pedro Pedro gets um a CD um a used album from uh CD um, Wu Tang Clan um he did I don't it? know <laughs> best hits. I don't know. <laughs> 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 um Rob gets <laughs> Rob gets um um uh, a nail a nail trimmer or your fingers. Thanks. I bite my nails, but I'll use it on my toes. Yeah. And uh Sean Big Sean Harris gets uh a, uh a reversed ladder. A whole a, rever a, whole a reversed ladder. A set of stairs. A ladder. Yeah. Ladder, yeah. A reversed one. So oh. it's a ladder that you deploy it and instead of going up, you're going down. And uh, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be very useful for you, I feel, because like uh whenever we wanna uh, I don't know, nail something in the wall, you get a ladder. But you're already there, so <laughs> your problem is to go lower. So what that ladder helps you do? <laughs> I can go until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I like a stool to like kneel on. It's a reverse ladder that goes down, like an that escalator. Position. That's it. All right. Nice. Uh, it's time for the uh, the honorary Brit of the group to go, I guess. And yellow gets the P number. It's three point what not. P number? I was I was going <laughs> to meet you. Hi. <laughs> it's funny how Hi. you're laughing to the Greek guy when the correct term is P and not pi. But okay. Oh, oh the Greek guy. Oh, was okay. Ooh. 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 Ah. So it's actually pi. We took it from the Greeks and we make it anglicized. Look, it's pi, <laughs> Fahrenheit, feet, football. All right? Yeah, it's a bogo. <laughs> yeah, bogo. 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 Great. Sounds great to me. All right, we're using up ropes time here. Okay, okay. Good morning, mates. Already here with me favorite questions. <laughs> Sean Harris, if the main factory did exist, and we all know it doesn't, which one of us would you like? Who would you retweet? Which one of us would you mute? And for bonus points, who would you zap? Okay, uh, wait, what were the questions again? Who do I, who do I like? Stop. Stop do, it, Sean. Stop. Who do Don't, I... do this. Don't do this bit right now. Just just answer the questions. I, what are, what was the question <laughs> again? Wait, is this for me? That I'm at you guys asking this for me? Sean, you, you know what to do. You know how like most of our guests ask that question? <laughs> yeah. We go through it and they're like, wait, is this for me? Um <laughs> I will like Marcus. Uh, I will mute RD because he's always on mute. I will retweet Pedro because no one has retweeted me more than him. Retweet himself, and I will zap Rope because he needs the money. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Let's, go. Let's go! All right, Sean, we're coming to the end here. Really appreciate you giving some time. So, um. Can you tell us where people can find you and where they can find the having party? 
They can find me at the having party and they can find the having party at Bitcoin having party dot com. Yeah. Before, and, uh, before you go, son, uh, we forgot to do the, uh, another question that we do all the time. And yeah. what are you doing in block hide? <laughs> What what block is it? I don't know. You know what's crazy? It'll be like block height eight hundred thirty five thousand or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it sucks, but it's okay. Um, it's kind of sad. It's like the end of an era. Literally, um, it's the beginning yeah. of something new. I'll never. We'll never ask the question. What are you doing at block height eight hundred forty thousand ever again? It'll always be million from here on out. Or you just find you in what were you doing at block at 840,000? Were you at the having party? Yeah, we or not. Like, it, what are you gonna do at block height one point whatever million? <laughs> like, I can't do that math. 1.2. Well, it's 840 plus 210, so million 50. Uh huh. What are you doing at block height 1 million 50,000? Ooh, we can still say thousand. Nice. <laughs> All right. I want to thank and all that's the guests, but... what it takes for Sean to get excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Numbers are exciting, guys. They are exciting. All right. I want to thank mm. everyone for showing up and spending some time with us this evening. We know you could be doing anything else, literally. And uh the fact that you any you all come here to watch this and chat with us and or listen to us is heartwarming. We appreciate it. Thank you. See you in El Salvador. See you in El Salvador. Roll us out. See you.